Dialogue 1. Computer Problems. Hi, John. I need your help. Hi, Bill. What can I do? My printer is not printing. That's odd. What happens? Nothing happens. It's silent. Did you reboot your printer? Yes, I did. No change. How many times did you reboot? Twice. It didn't help. OK. What about your computer? I rebooted that as well. And still no printing? No, nothing at all. Let me see something. What are you looking at? Your printer's ink level. Is it too low? Yes, it is. You need more ink. Dialogue 2. Hiring another employee. Hi Steve, can we talk? Sure, what's on your mind? I need more help in IT. What kind of help do you need? I need another person in my team. Sorry, we can't afford that now. But we have too much work. I know, but the budget is tight. And the deadlines are impossible. I understand, but we have to cope. I can't cope anymore, Steve. What do you mean, John? I mean I'm quitting this job. What? You can't do that. Yes, I can. I'm burned out. John, please reconsider. I'll help you. Dialogue 3. Blaming others. Jim, we need to talk. What is it, Steve? The presentation was a disaster. I don't think so. Don't be in denial, Jim. I'm not in denial, Steve. You were not prepared at all. That's not true, Steve. You forgot the slides and the data. That was not my fault, Steve. Whose fault was it then, Jim? The computer crashed, Steve. You should have backed up everything. I did, but it got corrupted. That's a lame excuse, Jim. You're just blaming me, Steve. Dialogue 4. Erased files. Jim, where is the file? What file are you talking about? The file we were working on. I don't know, I saved it. Well, it's not here anymore. Maybe you deleted it by mistake. No, I didn't. You did it. Why would I do that, Steve? Because you are lazy and careless. That's not true. You are rude. Rude? I'm just telling the truth. No, you are blaming me unfairly. You are responsible for this mess. I did nothing wrong, Steve. Nothing. You are lying, Jim. Admit it. No, I'm not. Leave me alone. Dialogue 5. Career Goals I hate this job so much. Me too. It's so boring. But I have a plan, Nancy. What plan? Tell me, Emma. I will work hard and smart. And then what? Quit this place? No, silly. Get a promotion. A promotion? To what position? To director of marketing, maybe. Wow, that sounds ambitious, Emma. Why not? I have potential. I'm sure you do, Emma. And you, what's your plan? My plan? I have none. Come on, Nancy, don't be lazy. Okay, okay. I have one. What is it? Let me hear. I will work for you. Dialogue 6. Leaving the company. Hi, Nancy. Can we talk? Sure, John. What's up? I have some news for you. 
What is it? You look serious. I'm quitting my job today. What? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. I'm serious. Why are you quitting? What happened? I got a better job offer. From where? Who hired you? From our competitor company. Oh no, that's not good. Why not? It's good for me. But what about our boss? What about him? He doesn't care. He will be angry and upset. He should have given me a raise. Did you ask him for one? Yes, I did. He refused. That's too bad. I'm sorry. Don't be. I'm happy now. Well, I wish you all the best. Thank you. You're a good friend. Dialogue 7. Corporate Espionage Jane, we have a problem. What is it, Nancy? Someone broke into our safe. What did they take? Our recipe book. Oh no, that's terrible. Actually, it's not. Why not? It was a fake book. A fake book? Yes, a decoy. Where is the real one? The owner hid it. Where did he hide it? In his apron pocket. He's clever and a great cook. Yes, he is. And smart. Dialogue 8. A long lunch. Hey John, can I ask you something? Sure Bill, what is it? I need a favor from you. What kind of favor? I have a job interview today. Really? Where and when? At ABC Company, during lunchtime. Wow, that's a great opportunity. Yeah, I hope so. So what do you need from me? Can you cover for me? Cover for you? How? Just tell the boss I'm sick. And where are you really? At the interview, of course. Okay, I get it. And please keep it a secret. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Thanks John, you're a lifesaver. No problem Bill, good luck. Dialogue 9. Cover me. Jim, I need your help. What's wrong John? I overslept and missed the presentation. What? How could you? I'm so sorry, Jim. Please cover for me. Me? I can't do that. You can, Jim. You know the research. But I'm not prepared at all. Just use my slides and notes. Where are they? In my email. I'll forward them. And what do I tell them? Say I'm stuck at the airport. That's a lie, John. It's a small one, Jim. Please. Fine, John. But this is the last time. Dialogue 10. Annual Review. How was your review today? It was okay, I guess. What did your boss say? He asked about my goals. And what did you say? I said I didn't know. You didn't know? Are you serious? Why are you so angry? Because you have a plan. What plan are you talking about? The plan to get a degree. Oh, that plan. Yeah. I remember. Then why didn't you tell him? I was too nervous, okay? Nervous about what? Your future? Yes, Nancy. My future.